أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Symptoms of Spiritual Knowledge Excerpts from the Teachings of Shaykh Sidi Muhammad Fawzi Al-Karkari How to Visualize the Light A sister who took the bayah over two months ago has yet to see the light. She has an autistic child and requested Sidi Shaykh to pray for her to see the light and to find a spiritual remedy for her son's condition. Sidi Shaykh replies, Those who embark on the path do so via the gateway of istighfar. Seeking forgiveness. This is a daily dhikr or remembrance to be performed consistently. Moreover, even if a disciple accesses our teachings, he won't grasp them if he hasn't seen the light. Regrettably, without spiritual flow from the shaykh, the disciple will be unable to understand even a small aspect of the journey. Indeed, it is the light that imparts understanding and knowledge to the disciple. A person who fails to see the light post-commitment must isolate himself and persist in his dhikr until he beholds it. He must be diligent in adhering to the conventions of dhikr. He should maintain his dhikr sessions as on the day of his bay'ah. On that day, he sat in a state of ablution, donned the tire in line with the sunnah, and sat cross-legged. At that moment, his heart was imbued with profound reverence. He was in awe of Allah Jalla Jalla, with his heart in prostration, practicing istighfar to discover Allah's light. Entering the path requires performing two words, one after salah as subh and another after Salat al-Maghrib. The disciple should also not neglect Qiyam al-Layl, waking up an hour and a half before Salat al-Fajr, and spending an hour in istighfar with the previously described sanctity. Trials as a sign of divine love. Regarding the ill child, the sister should endure her trial patiently. Every trial from Allah Jalla Jalla is a mark of his love for his servant. At tirmidhi in his Sunan, cites Sayyiduna Musa ibn Sa'd ibn al-Waqqas radiallahu anhu, who narrated from his father about a man asking, O Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, who faces the most severe trials? He replied, the prophets, then their closest followers, and so on. A person is tried in accordance with the level of his faith. If his faith is firm, his trials are harder. If he is lax in his faith, his trials are according to his faith. A servant will continuously face trials until he walks on the earth free of sin, like the angels. In another narration by Ibn al-Majah, Sayyiduna Anas ibn Malik relates that the Prophet, peace be upon him, stated, The magnitude of the reward corresponds to the severity of the trial. When Allah, exalted be he, loves a group of people, he tests them. Whoever accepts Allah's decree earns Allah's satisfaction, and whoever resents it incurs Allah's wrath. We are unable to cure this child as he is in a different country. His healing lies with his doctor. The shaykh's role is to annihilate the nufus, or souls, to bring them into the presence and knowledge of Allah Jalla Jalla. The disciple must, at least once in his life, sit with his Lord to know him and invoke him, not to seek worldly gains such as children, wealth, health, etc. It's noteworthy that we perceive autism not as modern science does, but as a malady of the soul. This may surprise some, but we see it as an affliction of the soul. Indeed, the knowledge of the people of Allah, Ahlullah, Jalla Jalala, differs markedly from modern medicine. If we find a spiritual avenue, we can potentially heal this child. The Qibla in the Maghrib The disciple also sees in a dream a sun rising. Sayyidu Shaykh replies, The interpretation of the sunrise symbolizes the Qibla. Indeed, we prostrate in the direction of the sunrise. When this disciple took the bayah, she understood that the qibla is the shaykh. Therefore, she must stop wandering aimlessly, she must listen to what we tell her, and she must seize all actions that distance her from our guidance. This is how she will see the sun in a vision while awake.